Hi guys, uh, my name's Doug and this is um, a tutorial on star shaping in uh, Photoshop uh, and for this uh, tutorial we're going to use uh, the image that uh, we used throughout the last series of tutorials on basic processing uh, and that's uh, M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy in uh, Kanye's Venacity um, and if we zoom into this um, and look at the stars and I think I mentioned this in the last series of tutorials you'll see that they're a little bit uh, egg shaped uh, which is unfortunate. Um, that's tracking errors basically. Uh, this was uh, an image I took about seven or eight months ago and uh, my tracking wasn't too good then. Uh, it's improved a bit since. Um, so we're going to reshape those stars and um, make them look more round. Uh, they won't be perfect but they'll be better than they are now. Uh, very simple process which I'll uh, rattle through fairly quickly and uh, hopefully you'll find it of some use. Now I'm using the JPEG of the image for this uh, tutorial. Um, <coughs> I wouldn't suggest you do that because um, basically what I'll be doing when I finish the uh, star shaping uh, I'll be saving uh, a JPEG as a JPEG uh, and every time you save a JPEG it's not a lossless um, format uh, so you're losing information and the image is uh, deteriorating as you save it again. Um, so I'd suggest that um, if you use this technique uh, you use it on your TIFF file once you finish your processing or whenever you want to do it um, before you save it as a JPEG rather than actually working on a JPEG as I'm doing now. I'm doing this just for the purposes of uh, expediency really. Now the first thing we need to do is resize this image. Um, the image at the moment image size is uh, that's up to image and an image size, that'll tell you how big it is 1598 by 1118 in pixels um, we're going to reshape the stars um, by putting a layer on top uh, which we'll set to dark and I'll explain that uh, and then we move the top layer uh, a pixel at a time now because this image is relatively small um, we don't, we're not going to have that much control over the, over the shaping of the stars so the first thing you need to do is enlarge the image uh, by four times uh, that will make this one about as big as the average tablecloth um, so have a look at these these uh, figures you can use either pixel dimensions or document size whatever you want I've got that set to centimeters but you can change that if you wish it doesn't matter uh, make it inches or whatever um, and pick a figure that is relatively simple to remember um, because when you resize the image again back to its original size when we finished you want to resize it exactly to what it was before uh, and also before you resize the image make sure constraint proportions is ticked there uh, if that's not ticked then you can change the height say and the width won't change and you want them both to stay the same um, so I'm going to use the height um, there as, as the uh, basis for resizing the image. That's 1118 at the moment. I'm going to remember that. It's probably an idea to make a note of it. 1118. You don't have to do four times exactly. I'm going to make that 4440 and that'll be fine uh, for the purposes of this. And then when I finish doing the process, I'm going to resize it back to 1118. So you just highlight that, type in 4440, click on OK, and the image is resized eventually. There you go. Scroll out again. There we go. Now we need to uh, create a new layer, which is going to be a copy of the background layer. And the, the quickest way to do that, <coughs> watch my mouse over here, down to uh, the layers um, panel. Uh, and if you just click, left click and drag on the background, uh, and drag it to this icon here, changes to a little fist or grabs it. Let's look at this icon here. Uh, just drop it onto that and you've got background copy and that's what we're going to use. Now if we zoom in a bit um, these stars on the upper left you can see that they're quite badly misshapen very sort of egg shaped um, but if we look at the ones on the lower right scroll into those and they're not quite as bad you know they're relatively good um, <coughs> so we've got uh, we're in the unfortunate position where the ones on the uh, top left sort of need reshaping really and the ones uh, on the bottom right don't um, but that's fine we're going to reshape them and then I'm going to show you how you can actually take that reshaping out of the uh, uh, of the stars on the uh, on the bottom right hand side. Now the first thing we need to do is set the um, blending mode for that uh, layer we've just created the background copy um, that's highlighted which means it's selected we go up to uh, the blending mode here hopefully you can see my mouse uh, click on the down arrow and select darken that's what we want uh, okay, now zoom into the image 
uh, and you can see the uh, stars are egg-shaped. Uh, we need this tool here, I've already got it selected, but uh, that's what we need. Uh, so you click on that, click on the image, and then using the arrow keys on your keyboard, uh, if we move up one, and watch the stars as I do this, uh, up one again, and then left one, and left one again, uh, and now you can see they're rounder. I hope you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Uh, if I um, click on that layer to make it invisible and invisible again, you'll see the difference. That's what they were before, and that's where they are now. Okay. Now the way that works, um, you're moving the layer that you've created on top, and that's moving against the background layer. Uh, and because the blending mode of the layer on top is set to darken, um, as you move the layer um, and by using that arrow and clicking on the layer and then using your arrow keys that will move the layer one pixel at a time um, what uh, Photoshop is doing is selecting the pixels that are darker uh, and that's what it's making visible uh, and obviously as you move the layer um, you're moving the star slightly against the, the, the dark sky and it's selecting the sky rather than the actual star and that's how you'll reshape in the stars so there's no magic involved in this uh, it's just a blending mode one layer against the other uh, and that's basically how it works now if we zoom out again and zoom into this these stars on the bottom right you'll see that they're they're quite badly misshapen now um, and that's because they looked reasonably reasonably good before uh, and we've we've we've, we've um, reshape the stars for the entire image but there is a way around that and I'm going to introduce you now to masks uh, which uh, I haven't covered yet uh, but I'm going to uh, create a mask for this particular layer and, uh, uh, and and show you how masks basically how masks work now I'm going to zoom out again so I've got the whole image in view okay uh, back down to the uh, layers panel um, and this little icon here third one along next to the FX function um, is add a layer mask and we're going to add a, add a layer mask to the uh, background copy layer so if you just click on that and I will add a layer mask now um, you may just be able to see that the layer mask this white panel has got a box around it um, I'm actually going to zoom into uh, that panel just to uh, so that you can see this quite clearly okay um, so that's the layer mask uh, and it's got uh, a box around it if we click on the uh, image there you can see that's got a white box around it now uh, so that's the active um, part of the uh, layer if you like um, if we click on the layer mask that becomes active and there's a reason why I'm showing you that I'll go back to the uh, full screen now and show you what I'm going to do next okay make sure the uh, layer mask is active it's got the uh, box around it okay we're going to select the paintbrush tool here this one here click on that uh, make sure your uh, foreground colour is set to black, it's foreground and background colour there, make sure your foreground is set to black uh, and make sure your paintbrush tool for this is big enough for what we want to do, I want to block out the whole of this right hand corner so I want a nice big brush, about as big as it will go really there you go, that should do us um, and make sure your opacity is set to 100% which is what we want ok now because the uh, layer mask is selected uh, when I paint on this image uh, it won't come out on the image itself, it'll actually come out on the layer mask uh, and it's also just occurred to me that you can't actually see my cursor at the moment. It's a great big circle, uh, but uh, but you can't see it uh, for some reason on the video. Um, so you have to uh, take my word for it, guys. There is a great big circle that I'm now sweeping over the image as I paint uh, paint on the layer mask, and I'm basically covering a great big triangle uh, in the right hand corner of the image. Okay. Now, if you look at the layer mask down here, you can see that uh, uh, that's come out. <clears throat> the black uh, that I've just painted in. If we hold the Alt key down, ALT, uh, these are Windows instructions or uh, PC instructions, guys, not Mac. I don't use a Mac. Um, hold the Alt key down and click on the layer mask, and there you go. That's the uh, that's the layer mask. That's what we've got. Uh, that bit of painting I did has come out on the uh, on the layer mask. Uh, and if uh, again, if I hold the Alt key down and click on the layer mask again or on the image, um, the image comes back. Uh, now the way that works, or rather the way uh, layer masks work. Um, when you've made an adjustment in a layer uh, and you've created a layer mask, any parts of the layer mask that are white, the adjustment will show through. It will be effective. It will you'll be able to see that adjustment. Any parts of the layer mask that are black, uh, the adjustment won't show through. Um, so you won't be able to see that adjustment on that part of the image. Now we've created 
uh, the the area of the bottom right hand corner of the stars there. We we've, we've made that black. So those stars have now returned to their uh, original shape. Uh, these ones up here. Uh, are still fine, we've reshaped them because uh, that part of the layer mask is white but a bit of the layer mask that's black, that adjustment won't show through, you won't be able to see it uh, and so they're, uh, they're back to their original shape and I'll zoom in and uh, uh, show you what I mean now let's select that uh, arrow key again before we do anything else now I'm going to zoom in to these stars and back to the layer mask, if we right click on the layer mask there's an option that says disable layer mask. <coughs> if I click on that and um, watch the stars on the screen as I do it. Now did you see that? Hopefully you saw it. Those stars went back to the shape they were after we'd made the adjustments to the stars, after we'd reshaped the stars. Uh, right click on it again, enable layer mask uh, and zoom out. And we'll zoom in on these stars up here now. They're the reshaped ones. And again if I right click on the layer mask and do disable layer mask you shouldn't see any difference. There you go. So the adjustment we made is effective for those stars. Now I should just mention that um, you don't, you, you can't just use black and white in a layer mask. You use an infinite number of shades of grey as well. Uh, and basically, what uh, what what that does, uh, areas of the layer mask that are white uh, lets 100% of the adjustment that you've made in that layer show through. Uh, areas of the layer mask that are black. Um, let zero percent of the adjustment you've made in that layer show through and, and the various different degrees of grey in between as you can imagine will let varying different percentages of that adjustment show through so it's a little bit like um, having uh, control over opacity of the image uh, the, the amount of opacity in the image you can control uh, depending on what colour uh, the layer mask is between uh, you know any sh shades between black and white and all the very different shades of grey in between so it's a very powerful tool and um, I hope that's clear. Uh, that's a very uh, a very brief introduction to uh, layer masking, and I'll be covering it a, a lot more in uh, a later tutorial. Now, if I uh, zoom into the image now, fair way in. Okay, I should do. Uh, now, if I turn the uh, layer on and off just by clicking on the eye, if you remember from uh, our um, previous videos, um, I'll turn that on and off. And if you keep your eye on the stars especially these ones here and the ones inside the galaxy and then have a look at these ones down here I'll turn that on and off that's off now and if you look at the uh, the stars in the uh, top left the, you can see as I'm turning it on and off they're changing that's how they were before that's how they are now and, and indeed inside the galaxy and the galaxy itself in fact if you look at that you can see that changing as we've uh, we've made that adjustment we've reshaped it uh, but if you look at the stars around here uh, while I'm turning it on and off off on off on you can see that um, they haven't changed at all and that's because of the layer mask uh, now it may be that um, when you have a closer look at this you don't like what it's done to the galaxy uh, you may prefer the galaxy the way it was before and that's not a problem uh, layer mask is selected as it was before we can uh, go back to our paintbrush that's bass too big I know you can't see it but believe me it's too big um, okay uh, that's a smaller um, a smaller paintbrush now. I could uh, I could just paint over the galaxy areas of the galaxy. This is just a demonstration, so and that will come out on the layer mask. Uh, now, if I click that uh, layer on and off again, you'll see the stars up here have changed, but now the galaxy is as it was before. As I click it on and off, that's off and that's on. But of course what that means is the stars in the galaxy are still elliptical, still egg shaped. So we can go a stage further. We can uh, put a little bit of white on the layer mask over those stars because uh, bear in mind the layer mask if it's black the adjustment doesn't show through, if it's white the adjustment does show through. So I'm going to go back to my paintbrush tool which I've already got selected click on this arrow here um, and that changes the foreground colour to the background colour etc so we've now got white selected I'm going to reduce the, the brush to a, a much smaller size that I can use over these stars uh, <coughs> you'll have to take my word for how big this brush is guys because I know you can't see it and I'm just going to put uh, a little bit of white over these stars here a few of them there we go that should do uh, now again, I'll turn the, the uh, layer on and off. That's off, and that's on. And now you can see the galaxy 
uh, is as it was, but the actual stars within the galaxy uh, are now being reshaped because that adjustment in the layer is now showing through because of the uh, the white I painted in over those stars. I'll have a show you the, the layer mask very quickly. Hold the Alt key down, click on the layer mask, and there you go. That's where I painted in the galaxy, uh, and this is where I painted in the little white bits so that the stars, the adjustments of the stars, will show through. Okay, clever stuff, layer mask, very powerful. I'm going to zoom out again. There we go. Okay, uh, well, we need to, uh, before resizing, we've got to resize it back to its original proportions, if you remember. But we need to flatten the image first, because otherwise it will take a while if we resize it with a couple of layers. Uh, so be careful of that. Um, flatten the image, we can either go up to image, or oh, sorry, layer. Uh, layer, and then flatten the image down the bottom there. We can do it that way. Uh, alternatively, right click on the layer itself, uh, select flatten image. And that uh, flattens it back to the background layer, so that's all we're left with the background layer. Okay. Um, right now, to resize, go up to image, image size, uh, and if you remember, the height was 1118. 1118. Click on OK. And there we go. Tiny thing. Uh, zoom in a bit. And there we go. That's our image saved. Stars look nice and round now. Uh, more or less all over the image, We're a little bit tiny bit, bit misshaping here, but we ain't going to worry too much about that. Um, Alright guys, I hope you found that useful. Uh, that's um, star shaping in Photoshop. Uh, also covered sort of an introduction to um, layer masking, uh, a very brief introduction. Uh, we'll cover that a bit more in the latest tutorial, but um, if you uh, came across this tutorial just by chance, I've got uh, lots more tutorials uh, on my uh, channel. All aimed at raw beginners, by the way. Must say that. Uh, guys that uh, don't know anything about this stuff. Um, so there you go. You know about star shaping now. And you'll find, uh, if you are a beginner, that um, you're going to start off with lots of uh, misshapen stars. You'll get a fair few tracking errors when you start off. Uh, and this is a way of uh, correcting it. Uh, it's cheating, really. But uh, we don't mind that. We're happy with that. Um, Alright guys, as I say, I hope you found it useful and uh, hopefully I shall uh, speak to you again soon.